<coughs> Fuck, sorry. What's up, YouTube and Facebook, I guess? Because the only way to get my friends to see my videos is to put them, them, they, them on YouTube. So, today we're going to talk about a few things. Um, I want to talk about my writing. I do. Um, I finished a novel last year um, writing it, and I was very impressed. So, impressed, impressed, and very proud of myself. Um, that said, if and when you get to read it, um, it's very fast reading, read it, um, you will notice, notice, this draws attention, it's, it's actually supposed to be more of a, of a, like, holy crap, that thing, like, when you see a hot guy, you kind of, and you're actually supposed to put your tongue out, anyways, you will notice that a lot of words that are normally capitalized are not. And I do it on Facebook as well. I do it in conversations. Um, and there's a reason behind this. And that's going to bring me into my next topic. Words have power. Words have power when you give them special meaning. Words have power when you sit there and you capitalize them, or you, you know, capitalize the entire word. You give that word specifically, especially, power. Power. Stop to the side. So words like God and um, Jesus and stuff like that, I didn't capitalize because I don't believe in those people. I don't. I, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in Jesus. Well, technically Jesus. So, we know this. We know the stance by now, right? Two middle fingers out. Jesus. It's supposed to be representative of the spikes through his hand, which never happened. <sighs> yeah, we'll go ahead and talk about that real quick. The Vatican actually found about 15,000 pages of the original Bible, and in it, it describes the fact that Jesus was never crucified. He was never killed on the cross. This is plus. This is cross. You know, right? It's, uh, it's whatever. But that's basically the gist of it, is that Words have power when you give them power. It's why I use words like faggot and homo and stuff like that because, quite frankly, that's my word. It is. It, it describes me perfectly. I am a faggot. I am. I'm a homo. I'm a queer. I like guys. Holy shit. The world is not going to end. I've seen the world end for myself two times. Four minutes, seven minutes. And yeah, I'm switching hands. I know, right? Um, I say that a lot. I need to stop. I need to stop. But at least I didn't sign it this time. Um, but when you give words power, or when you, when you give words the slightest power, that can be taken in an extreme manner. I mean, if you look at the president right now, he uses words like terrorist attack and Muslim and stuff like that. And he uses them in such a negative context. context negative? This is positive. This is negative. This is equals. And this is hashtag. <laughs> About hashtag, right? Hashtag. Um... It actually is. I've seen a few of my uh, favorite YouTubers uh, use it. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna kill myself eventually one day. It'll it'll come soon. Don't worry. Um, I'll film it. I'll film it. Don't worry. 
But um, I should do a 13 Reasons Why. I should leave one for my ex and one for my ex-roommate and then his best friend and then uh, my stepmom, my father, my, both of my sisters, all three of my sisters. Uh, that's, uh, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. I mean, 13 Reasons I mean, we could do eight Reasons Why. I don't, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Extremely. I'm kidding is X, two X's, and you just kind of hit it off. Yeah, that's happening right now. Um, so that's kind of the end of my rant. Um, words, power. If you don't want a word to have power to you, don't acknowledge it. You know, if somebody sits, sits there and calls you a fag or a homo or a queer or, oh, Q-U-E-R, um, E-E-R, or a dyke or, you know, a pillum, pillum, pillum muncher, just sit there and stand in their face and say, yeah, I am. And is there any other, you know, pull a Captain Obvious on them. Be like, thanks, Captain Obvious. Like, we all really needed that announcement. That's the only way to take the power away from somebody who's trying to abuse you. I wish I'd learned this while I was with my ex. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and do kind of a little mini book review. The Vast Fields of Ordinary. Character is super relatable to me. He's obviously a Capricorn. He wants to be loved. He wants a lasting relationship. He's overwhelmed by the fact that his parents are going through a mock divorce because his dad is cheating and his mom just doesn't give a shit anymore. And he's dealing with the fact that a straight guy won't love him, but still wants to use him for sex. That said, he finds another love, and it's perfect. And the love almost made me cry last night while I was reading this until 2 a.m. But on the flip side, there's a shit ton of grammatical errors. In here, hold on, I'm going to pull it up real quick. Because there's a dedication page. Um, endless thanks to my agent, Nicole Keenly James, and my editor, Alicia Niehaus. Alicia, you need to be fired. Alicia, you were completely and utterly sh- Complete and utter shit. Sorry, completely. That's a, that's a mistake that you would have made. Completely and utterly shit because that's who you are. Um, I counted at least nine in the amount that I've, and this is the amount that I've read. This is the top of the book. I'm almost finished with it. At least nine, oh, shit, sorry. I hit the the table too hard. At least nine errors in the reading, and they were ones that just kind of like stuck out and said, hey, I'm here. I'm gonna bug you. Bug. That's a new sign. It's a new sign I learned today. I know, right? Uh, I'm going to bug you and pester you and make you feel like shit. Because me, wanting to be an English teacher, I automatically correct any and all grammar as I read it. It's unfortunate. It's true. I'm one of those internet trolls. I'm one of those internet people who sits there and says... Yeah, that's wrong because you don't even know how to spell it. So, but I still highly recommend the book. It's, it's, it's a page turner. It's something that you will get invested in. You will sit there and say, I feel so bad for him. I feel so bad for her. I feel so bad for everyone. Why am I even living on this planet? Everything is meaningless. Everything's pointless. I should just go die in a, in a trash fire. Yeah, so. But, uh, yeah, I have phone calls to make. I'm going to go make them now. I'm going to call two different uh, research studies. Um, I talked about them in the episode that I posted before this, yeah, but I'm just to recap, yeah, a- cannabis study and a brain study. Spinal tap. Spinal taps. Yay. Right? Woo. I never taught you guys the sign for applause. It's this. It's jazz hands. <laughs> I know. Um, (laughs) 
the library's holding a class on computers on the fourth floor in 15 minutes. I'm not going to go because, quite frankly, I'm far more versed than any librarian could be in computers. I worked for a giant tech company for four and a half years, and all I got was stupid t-shirts, which I've given all of them away. Um, actually, stupid t-shirts, depression, anxiety, multiple personality disorder, and a whole bunch of other shit because I work for that company because my ex wanted me to. Ah, <sighs> listen up, never change for your, for your partner, never. Be who you want to be. If they can't deal with it, fucking cut them out of the light, out of your life. Um, but yeah, so cannabis study, uh, brain study uh, of the effects of, on HIV and HIV on the body and the brain, effects of cannabis on HIV. I'm sure that it works. They're just taking this down. They're not. It's a federally funded program, so they can't actually give us weed, but they can basically take a kind of snapshot of how weed has affected me. Effect, effect. I don't know why it's T, but there's two Fs. Why can't it be like this? Effect, eh, whatever. It's probably some other sign, I don't know. <clears throat> so, and then I have to call a dog walking service and apply for a job with them. I can earn up to $1,000 a month, which is nice. It's really nice. And I get to play with dogs, for fuck's sake. I'll be much happy. Like, I'll be, like, I will never, will never be depressed again. And it will be great. And then from there, I need to call Capital One and get my bank account opened back up because um, everything's tied to my old number, my old email, none of which I have access to because... X's are douchebags. We'll go with that. So, that's my video for today. Um, I'm going to go. You guys have a great rest of your Thursday. It's Thursday. Thursday. Yay. Thursday. Thursday. Thursday it never feels like a good day to do anything. Like, it's almost the end of the week. You're, like, you're lazy. You don't want to do shit. And the walk to and from the uh, Living Positive yesterday, yesterday was a hassle for me. So, anyways, I'm going to go. You guys have a great rest of your day. And I will talk to you later. And as always, you know what I'm going to say. You know it. Stay gold. I'm trying to keep my finger out of my entire... Hold on, there you go. Now you can see... My... I'm kidding. All right, I'm going to stop this.